Hi, I'm Denise Hayden, and we're in my home in Floral Park, New York. I've been teaching high school English at Floral Park Memorial for 29 years. What's the strange word, Maggie? Right, it's I love my job. I know it's a cliche, but when a student comes back and tells you, you did this to help me, or something you taught me has helped me tremendously, there is no price for that. You know, that's always very inspiring to me. And now that my son, Joseph, is in school, you know, I see the power of a good teacher. We are off to the Hayden's house. Denise is a selfless single mother who adopted her son Joey in 2010. The moment that they put Joseph in my arms, you know, it, I never felt anything like that in my life. I knew he was mine. I knew it was meant to be. All right, here we go. Denise was filled with joy when she brought Joey home, but Five months later, she was very worried when she discovered that he had noticeable motor skill issues. She took him to doctors and was given a very scary diagnosis. Joseph was diagnosed with septo-optic dysplasia. It usually results in legal blindness, cerebral palsy, and brain abnormalities that affect learning and function. It was horrible. Um, to say the least, the doctor said to me, he's not going to walk, he's not going to talk. She found out that he was adopted. She said to me, is the adoption reversible? Um, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't even breathe at that point. Today's the dice game show. You know, you don't know how you're going to react to bad medical news until it happens. And what I did was um, just tackled it head on. And because he's my son, I'll do anything for him. I will go anywhere. I will fight for him on any level. <laughs> I'm so excited to play the game. He is friendly, enthusiastic, curious. They've dubbed him the mayor of his elementary school. Here's a train. He loves trains. Uh, he loves the Long Island Railroad. That was part of the charm of the house, was that in my backyard, the Long Island Railroad actually runs right by us. All right, be careful, be careful, be careful. Because of Joey's unique developmental needs, some parts of his house can be considered hazardous, namely his backyard. Joseph loves to be outside in the backyard, but Letting Joseph go outside by himself is not an option at all. Most of the backyard is cement and it's cracked. Last year, Joseph actually lost his balance simply walking and fell and hit his head uh, pretty badly. You wanna push it some more? Denise is not in the position to spearhead a giant backyard transformation, but she wants to encourage Joey's independence and give him a safe place to play. And I am confident that we can put together a team that can make this happen. So much of his freedom's been limited by his mobility. So if George were able to help us make a safe space, it would allow him more freedom. It would give me more peace of mind. We were so happy that George came. I just wanted to keep hugging him to make sure it was real. I understand that uh, your backyard needs some help? Yep. Okay, well, you know what? You know what I do? I just fix it. I fix things, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna fix up that backyard for you. Sound good? Sound good. Perfect. All right, we have a deal. Today was a great day, right? Great day. Thank you, George. We've got an awesome team helping us out on this rescue. Dealing with all of the stuff outside, we have John from Concal Landscaping. And coming back as a team for the second time on George's the Rescue, we have our designer, Chastity from Reese Design, and our general contractor, Gary from Ambassador Home Improvement. Obviously, this is the Hayden's house. This is the backyard. What can we do to make this place better, safer? Well, I think we got to get rid of the older concrete because it's an unsafe uh, area for yep. Joey. With the way it's set up, very sharp edges, older concrete, trip hazards, and you can't have that. So we're going to redo that, make it good for him. 
I'm thinking maybe I can make the stoop larger so that way Joey can sit outside and look at the trains because I know he loves trains. I love the whole idea of doing the outside, but what about the inside? Inside means a lot. They spend a lot of time inside. So we have to do something really special for them. I really want to go upstairs. I want to look at their room so I can figure out what I'm doing. So this is Denise's room. I don't know. It's an all right master bedroom. Well, first of all, I think she would appreciate having a walk-in closet. We're gonna make her a little ensuite. It's just gonna feel a lot bigger. Just knock down that wall and turn that room and this room into just one giant master suite kind of thing? Right, so for Joe's room, we're looking to do something a lot more kid-friendly. I do know that he loves trains and I really want to incorporate that into the whole design scheme of everything. I knew I picked the perfect team for this rescue, so uh, let's get after it. Yeah, we're gonna get to work. We're gonna make this amazing. I would hire George in a second. Before we can start construction, we've got to get everything out of Joe and Denise's bedroom. So we got local movers, men on the move here to take care of it all. John is leading the charge in the backyard, and myself and Gary are going to start inside. We're going to take that place apart. All right, let's do it. Well, what, one thing I didn't like is when you looked at the ceiling that there were a million lines because they had the 12 by 12 ceiling tiles. So by eliminating those ceiling tiles and ripping down the crown molding, we're able to do a nice clean sheetrock ceiling. Yeah, were these just decorative acoustic ceilings? What's the point of these? That, that way you didn't have to worry about smackling. Back then you could just put up the ceiling tiles and you were done. So in Denise's room, in the master bedroom, we are actually gonna combine two rooms. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to uh, knock out some walls and make a passageway. Here, yeah, who wants it? Anybody, anybody, anybody want a mirror? I would hire George in a second. There's no going back now! All right, let's make one room into two. Sorry, take that back. Let's make two rooms into one. Demo is moving and grooving inside the house, so I'm gonna get downstairs and uh, see what kind of trouble I can create in the backyard. I'll tell you what, John from Concal is not joking around. He brought an army. Multiple different machines, jackhammers, picks, axes, chainsaws, you name it, we got it, and we are ripping this backyard apart. All right, so John, what is this machine? How do we use it, and can I drive it? This is the sod cutter. You're not gonna drive it, you're gonna steer it. Okay. So we're gonna get it going. We're gonna take out the all existing areas of the grass. To make a little noise. Yeah, well, George is going to uh, grab the handles on that and hold on for dear life. He's going to learn the hard way that it's a lot of manual labor involved in this. Now you want to start the next row, because this row is done. Everything needs to come out. I'm talking the bushes. I'm talking the concrete. I'm talking every blade of grass is getting cut out, ripped out. We're going to level out the space, and then we're going to start anew. All right, I'm done. After we did the demo upstairs, I realized that I couldn't meet all of Chastity's goals because I was dealing with a structural issue. There's a header holding up the roof load, so I could not remove the return wall. So when the guys framed it, they framed it here, which kills me a little bit because I really wanted to push it back. This is an issue for me, only because I had a certain idea in my head that we were going to actually blow this out. So let's see how we're going to handle this one. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information about 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3MDIY.com. Having to remove this corner out of the bedroom, we dealt with some structural things. Structural issues on a 100-year-old house, I cannot open Pandora's box. Okay, so if this is 48, right, then I want it 36. Done. Really? Done. I had to leave that one return wall and try to make Chastity happy by shrinking the opening from 48 inches to 36 inches. What? Some people might think it is just a giant muddy, 
hit, I, uh, I see progress. This is, this is coming along nicely, Gary. But what about this stoop? Well, this definitely is gone, and we're gonna bring it all the way to the end. I want Joe sitting here looking out at the trains. He'll be able to sit out here because we're gonna build this roof all the way out to the corner. Thankfully, we got the guys from Able Concrete here to take care of all of our masonry needs, which is our patio and the stoop. Allied Builder Supply in Seaford came through big time getting those pavers donated for us. It's kind of crazy out here right now. We got these guys right here, our masons. They're mixing up our base for our, our, our patio right here. These guys are leveling it all out. It's a lot. This is the Georgia Rescue Universe. Right here. Okay. Perfect. Get your bricks. Who wants a brick? We've done a lot of projects on George's Rescue, but this is the first time we've ever created a pondless waterfall. Pondless waterfall is actually like a water feature very similar to a pond with no pond. You don't have to worry about cleaning it, stagnant water. All right, rolling out the black carpet. All right, here we go. Yep. We're good? All right. We are on our way to creating a pondless waterfall. Now you gotta get out. Now I have to find a way out of the Palace Waterfall. Oh, there we are. We have all sorts of plants. Ornamental grasses, evergreens, different flowers. You name it, we got it. It's going in the backyard. But first, we gotta get it off the truck. Oh yeah, that's my style. Two by two. It's all in the shoulder. You tell me one. I don't know when the last time any of you have carried a plant, but plants are not light either. And we got a lot of them and some big ones. And, uh, well, wish me luck. You ready? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Get your shoulder on today. <sighs> wow, John, you got great. It, George. No, yeah, 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 you should find good. <sighs> That's a lot of plants. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be with you guys in a sec. With the plant material that we brought in, we're going to top them off and we're going to leave them. So you'll have a barrier around the whole perimeter of the property. Do a little bushwhacking down in here. This is what they mean when they say getting down and dirty on the job. What's up, Freddy? Hey, how you doing today? Doing good, man. Doing good. good. What's the scoop? Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start laying out the zones to accommodate the different areas of planting. We're going to bake it so that they're going to be able to enjoy the backyard. They're not going to be spending all their time with the hose watering and, exactly. and keeping everything, everything alive. Everything will be automatic. The Haydens had carpeting in the bedrooms beforehand, so we ripped them out, and underneath were these beautiful hardwood floors, and all it needs is little TLC. So we're meeting Frank Rogers from Frank Rogers Hardwood Flooring today. We're gonna throw some samples on the floor, we're gonna pick a color for upstairs, and I'm super excited about it. What do you think? That's the dark walnut, that's the jacobine. This one, obviously, is is darker, it's more... Right. I like the dark walnut. You like the, the it, it I brings do. out, it's bringing out some of the yeah. It brings out much more of the grain. Yeah. I say go with the one that gives you more beauty of the wood. We're going dark walnut. With the project in full swing, I set up Denise and Joe with an unforgettable surprise. We're going on the train today. Yeah. George has a very special surprise for you today. Guess what we're taking a ride on? The Long Island Railroad. We're going on the train today. Yay! Joseph, he's gonna be my assistant conductor today. We're gonna be giving him a hat. Thank you for riding on our way back for Fuller Park Station to go back to school. It was so awesome. It was so awesome. I think it was the best day of Joe's life. I think he'll remember this forever. I need the door open. Yeah, give me some of that. Give me five. We are literally wrapping up the construction element of this rescue. Doing the gates at the house are Ebert, Fence, and Railing, who are two brothers that had Miss Hayden in high school for English. What are we doing? Putting railings up around the back patio. Yeah. Then we're gonna get a, a gate over here and then double gates over there on that side. This is a huge project, so we needed twice as many painters. Outside, we got Ryan Moran, and inside, we have Forza Painting. Time is always of the essence on the rescue, but I always want to make sure that the house is protected. That's why Scotch Blue's 
pre-taped painter's plastic with dispenser is a lifesaver. Gary and his crew are done, which means I can get in there and do my job and start installing all of my design elements. We have a stockpile of lights here from Lamps Plus. We got ceiling fixtures, sconces, floor lamps. Thankfully, we have Paul and Jack here from Full Potential Electric to help get them all installed. It's and then... a big day. We have a huge delivery coming from Wayfair. They're bringing all the furniture for Thank Denise's you. bedroom. In Denise's room, it's gonna be something very calming, very cozy, very relaxing. I want her to be able to say, aha, when she lays down in her bed. First, Chastity turns a bedroom into a closet. Then, she gets container store to put in all of the drawers and the shelving. And then, she brings in a professional organizer to organize the closet. Anytime if you're gonna get organized, is it best to kind of just clear it all out and start from scratch? Basically, you clear and you sort. It's as easy as that. Joey's room is really special to me. I want him to feel like he is in his own train station. We have Jason, the carpenter, who built this train bed. Abdel and Talib from Precision Millwork and Cabinetry, they're painting the bed. Wow, Jason, this bed is ridiculous. Full bed. Full, full, full oh, wow. drawers. He has his dresser, but it's always nice to have under the bed storage too. Everybody knows that window treatments are the jewelry to the room, right? So we had Blinds to Go donate to the master bedroom. We also had Ella Moon's design donate the Roman shades in Joey's bedroom. So everything's gonna be finished off perfectly. My goal is to always try to balance you know, making a living, but also at the same time making a difference. And giving back to me, especially when you're dealing with children, is the most satisfying feeling of all. You ready? Ready. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well, okay, here's the way. go ahead. Let's do this. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Command products help you cleverly solve your organizing and decorating challenges without damage to your walls. Just peel and stick to apply and stretch to remove so you can decorate without doing harm. To find out about Command products from 3M or find a retailer near you, go to command.com. Hello there, hey! Mr. Joey. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good. Yeah? Who's house is this? My house. Hey, is your house? Let's do this. So Denise, ready? I just let Joey in on a little secret. Okay. We just get up there and take care of Joey's room. We also did your room. Oh my God. And Joey and I decided that we want to show you your room first. Okay. Ta-da! Oh my God. Walking into my bedroom for the very first time, the first thing I saw was a chandelier, which was Be beyond beautiful. No way! Oh my god! There's no way! And then the walk-in closet. That part of the room I can't even process right now. I can't believe that! Brand oh, new. It's brand spanking new! I was relaxed. I felt the space was so calming and the colors. I can't believe it. It's beautiful. It was more beautiful than I imagined. Joey, you ready to see your room? Yes. Okay. Right, Let's want you go, to leave, want Joe. You to leave the way, bud. Here, I'll, go ahead. Come on, I'll buddy. Stand here. You go on in. What? Bring mom. I'm sure we. Uh, what we did. Joe! Oh my God! Look. Joseph, what is that? It's a train bed, huh? Joe. This is your own locomotive. This is the Joey Express right here. Whoa, look at this, Joe. That bed is so sick. I can't believe that it actually has the front of the locomotive and that his name is on the bed itself. Hey, Joey, when you were looking out the window, did you see anything different about your backyard? You know? Oh, that's my just, God, that's Joe, That's literally go just look. a glimpse. Look at the matches, Joe! Wow. Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa. Have at it, Joe! Beautiful!
Wow! Joseph, uh, look at this! Was? When I stepped out, the first thing was, there's something under my feet that doesn't have moss on it. Oh, it's, it's beautiful! It's a waterfall! It's a waterfall! I never saw that in the backyard. You did a good job on the brand new Thanks. backyard. Thanks. Well, I had some friends help me out. So look at the swings. The backyard is a space where he can be himself. <laughs> he has a, a you know a gated area where I don't have to be on top of him. So obviously all of this didn't happen with just me. I had this amazing team. Amazing. Yay! Me along the way. Being rescued means being loved, really. I feel a swell of support. Thank you so much to everyone. Um, we're so overwhelmed. I've always said it, Joe belongs to everybody, especially this community. And um, I really can't express my appreciation for all that you've done for us, for making Joseph happy. You know, as a teacher, you know, you want to help other people and you do it because it's who you are. And to have it returned to you, it's hard to, to take in. Thank you for doing a good job to my new house. We love you. You want to blow some kisses? That's, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Oh,